Ms. Bradford, in your testimony, did I understand you right? Said so that you want to end all plastic manufacturing? I said the plastics industry must be stopped. So does that mean end plastic manufacturing? I mean, in my dream world, sure. But I think that, so, um, oh, so well, what, go ahead. No, so I, I, and I don't mean to be condescending here. I just point out what's going to replace your glasses? Um, like, so I you do wear know. Your glasses around your face. They're, they're made of plastic. Maybe. No. I don't <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. This, this is going to be a good one. I appreciate whoever sent this to me. Thank you. Yep, I already know. We only 30 seconds in. <laughs> and she is about to get exposed. Exposed. You know what they're made out of. They are. What, so, what about, and, and I'll just point out some things here because I just want to be realistic when we're having conversations because when statements are made like this, I just want to open people's eyes and say, well, what, okay, that's easy to say, but what's the solution? Your water bottle in front of you. This one? Yes. That plastic? No. The lid is. That's plastic. Right. So right. It, I would say to your question is, that I would first be concerned about single-use plastics, and then we can talk your, about alternatives your, to this. Your, your cell phone there? The plastic? The cases. But it's glass because I broke oh, the components this inside of it yesterday. The components made out of it's not in plastic. Yeah, they are. The water that you filled that water bottle up with. Um, where'd you fill that water bottle up out of? A water filling station. All right, and it was delivered by a drink station that was plastic. I didn't check. The edges are the piping coming to it. Now you have a couple of choices with the piping. Um, we could go back to using wood. But then you have to have line it in chemical. Uh, or we could go back <coughs> and use lead, because we used to have water piping that was lead. That was harmful to us. Uh, we'd go back to galvanized, but galvanized rust and had discoloration. Um, we'd go back to copper, but, but copper has to be mined, and everybody wants to stop mining in the U.S. So you use plastic to deliver piping that you fill that water bottle up with today. Yep. I, I point this out because the clothes you have on, I guarantee you have plastic in it. The shoes you have on your feet, the soles of those shoes are plastic. <laughs> so we talk about any, any manufacturer, plastic manufacturing and everybody in here cheers when you say that, but everybody here is depending on plastic as you set. Facts. <laughs> I knew where this was going to go from the first 30 seconds in. And it's crazy because you, you you see stuff like this all the time now. All the time. These 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 social justice warriors always screaming and yelling, Oh yeah, we want to do this. We want to do that. We, we want to get rid of all the plastics. And yet they haven't thought it through at all. They just heard something the establishment said and they just go out and repeat it. Just go out and repeat it. And it makes zero sense. Zero sense. There's plastic all around us. The computer screen that I'm watching this on has plastic on it. What, we just gonna make stuff out of metal? The camera I'm looking at you through. Well, that you're watching me on. I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking at the camera and talking. Plastic. Mike. Plastic. Now, yes, are, are, are plastics pretty harmful? Uh, you know, the chemicals leaching and stuff like that. Uh, sure. Like, can, can, we, can we change certain things? Sure. But could we ever completely get rid of plastic? Highly doubtful. Highly doubtful. And if we could, it probably will be very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. I think a better solution is coming up with a better type of plastic. That's just my opinion. You know, I, 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 I don't claim to be a professional. I don't claim to be, you know, a warrior out here. You know, I'm, <laughs> you know, that's that's not up my alley. Uh, but just off the top of my head, let's just come up with a better plastic. I don't know. Maybe that's not possible for any uh, people that are more knowledgeable out there. Let let us all know in the comment section. Uh, but yeah, these these folks just just be talking out the side of their neck and have zero clue what they're talking about. They just heard something and just go repeat it. 
And it's funny when they get exposed, like right now. So if you want to end it, then quit using it. Oh. It's kind of like, I don't sharp it or shop at certain places right now because I don't agree with some of their policies. Me too. I choose not to do that. Yep. You can choose to not use plastic. Do your work. Not getting my if, money. If, if, if you believe it, then live it that way. Facts. And, and, and if not. Yes, that, that's actually a great point. And I'm, so, I'm sorry to interrupt once again. But that's also something you, you you hear all of these folks talk about. Oh, yeah, we want we want to help the, the, the climate. And yet they drove a car to their protest. Why didn't you walk? Hmm. <laughs> Don't ride the bus either, because that's actually doing the same thing. Walk. Can't ride a bike. Can't ride a bike. Well, there's no emissions on a bike. Yeah, there is. The production of the bike. You think it just fell out of the sky? You think the production of the bike just, you know, just, and God just, boop, right there? I mean, I wish that, that, that would be nice. Be nice. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that would be, that would be amazing. But that's not the way it works. Bikes don't just fall out of the sky. So you gotta walk. Don't talk about it. Be about it. <laughs> they never live the life that they want other people to live. It, it, it is crazy. It's crazy. The guy in the Dinesh D'Souza video talking about, you know, giving black people opportunities at colleges. Okay, well, why don't you leave and let a black person take your spot? Dinesh D'Souza said it to him. Put him right there on the spot. Put him right there on the spot. You got, uh, you know, the, the, these folks who... Uh, push, you know, saving the planet. I forgot the what, what, what is the guy's name? Goodness gracious! Ah, uh, I can't, I can't recall the guy's name at the moment. But he was talking about saving the planet, right? Actually, I think it was in a hearing of some sort, if I remember right, a Senate committee hearing or something or so, something. And, uh, you know, he was just talking about, you know, saving the planet, yada, yada, yada. And the guy that was questioning him said, well, don't you fly a private jet? <laughs> well, well, I, I, I've got to meet with world leaders. You know, I've got to meet with these folks. Well, we, we have a thing called Zoom. I'm just saying you don't have to fly your private jet because it's rules for thee, no rules for me. They want everybody else to live by these certain rules while they get to just do whatever. Nah, that's, that's, that's BS. That's BS. Then tell me what the solution is. Mr. Sunday, can you manufacture a car today without plastic? Because we talked about manufacturing. The chairman brought up manufacturing cars as it is safe. But the components that go into the cars today, can you do that without, without plastic? No, Senator, and increasingly so with the new uh, mileage mandates. You're increasingly need to use automotive components that are plastics derived. So we wouldn't have manufacturing today's modern manufacturing if we didn't have plastics correct correct miss jackson do you agree with that statement yes so what's the alternative for manufacturing because we the democrats talk about middle class wages middle class wages typically come directly from manufacturing what is it that we're manufacturing that doesn't have plastic in it today nothing and you know what? It would increase the cost of everything if we turn to an alternative and it would disproportionately impact low income people who have lower incomes. It would be another regressive tax on the poor. So according to your testimony, Ms. Jackson, it, it sounds like you're saying that the environmental justice agenda does more harm than good for low income families. Is that correct? Yes. And, you know, I, I have the unique uh, uh, opportunity to see both sides when the industry comes in the area and when it doesn't. As an auditor, I worked uh, on Nissan North America. Mm -hmm. Nissan North America moved to Smyrna, Tennessee, where it built the largest automotive manufacturing plants. And the transformation was astonishing. I mean, it went from a community that was poor to a community that U.S. World News wow. voted one of the top 10 places to retire. 
Wow. You had poor people in areas that were poor that became middle class. You had middle class people that became upper middle class and a lot of upper middle class people that became affluent. They have attractions, they have amenities, they have uh, housing, affordability. I mean, the amount of prosperity in that area has resonated out three counties, three counties. I've also had the opportunity to see when an industrial, uh, and that did, wouldn't happen if you don't have an industrial complex moving into the area where you're talking about high economics. I've also seen the other side where all of a sudden you have deteriorating building, empty storefronts, dilapidated housing, people standing on street corner housing, that uh, uh, families that are broken. So we need to balance the fact that people's lives need economic upward mobility. And we can't just say, uh, we're gonna take out an industry and leave people poorer than they were. Poverty causes the worst health care in this country. Actually, Democrats would love that. Democrats would absolutely love it because now they have people that are dependent upon them that can't say no to them because you know the old saying, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Well, in that situation, the Democrats would be the hand that would that would be feeding all of these folks. So they they actually, in my estimation, in my opinion, would love for these folks to lose their jobs. They don't care. They don't care if they have any extra money in their pockets. They would prefer that they didn't. Come get your money from us. And do as we say if you want them dollars. And I know the saying is money isn't everything. In actuality, it really is. When you really break things down, money is everything. The roof over your head, you ain't get it without money. Even if your house is paid off, still got to pay for stuff in it. <laughs> still got to pay to maintain it. Still got to pay them property taxes. Oh, goodness gracious. Still got to, you know, pay to, to heat it, to cool it, to to have water running through it, right? All this stuff. Got to pay for you for you and your family to eat. Y'all got to eat something. You're not just going to walk out in the backyard and eat some grass. I mean, you could grow your own stuff depending on the size of your land, but not everybody has a, a ton of land, right? To, to, to grow enough food, uh, you know, to, to, um, to eat every day. Just saying, just saying, money is in everything. To take care of your loved ones, you need money. And uh, Democrats would love for people not to have it. That's just my opinion. But what do y'all think? Poverty is the one that destroys lives. It destroys health. It creates trauma. Mm. So we need to make sure that when we're talking about these issues, we take into account the human loss of life not just the environmental impacts oh shout out to shout out to donna jackson big 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 shout out to donna jack i have no clue who this lady is but she spoke some facts she spoke some facts and i'm happy she did because this other young lady uh uh what, what was her name uh and angel bradford I'm, I'm sure I butchered that. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Ms. Bradford. But think about what you say before you say it. It's the same thing with, uh, you know, these, these, these activists who, you know, go in like a Chick-fil-A and dump the simulated blood on the floor or they go and spray paint the side of a building or super glue themselves to the, to, to the ground. Like, bro, you're just annoying people. You're just annoying people. You're not getting any good attention. Nobody is following you. Yes, you might be getting attention. If that's your only purpose and your sole purpose, sure, you accomplished your goal. But I would say that you're not very intelligent if that is your only goal to garner attention. You should want to garner people to follow your lead. 
that should be the ultimate goal not to just garner attention not to just have people looking like what in the world why did they just spray paint the side of that building with a bunch of orange paint what in the what are they what are they shouting about like no you should want people to say oh yes i i agree with them i i want to go and follow their example see what they're doing like these 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 folks like it's 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 mind numbing. I, I just feel like nobody on the left thinks things through. You just saw an example in that video. I've shown you guys examples of, of the activists gluing themselves to the ground or annoying people in restaurants that are just trying to eat their food. Like uh, I, I was about to give some suggestions, but I'm 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 just I'm just beyond that at this point. I'm, why 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 would I help these folks? <laughs> Like there, there's so many other things that they could be doing that would actually be helpful to their cause and getting people on board with them. And yet they just choose to just repeat what they've heard. Not really like if she would have stood up here and, you know, had a well thought out response. Then, OK, I'll hear you. I'll listen. I may not agree. I may not even follow, but I'll, I'll listen. Right. I'll, I'll respect you and your time and whatnot. I'm not going to be disrespectful. But, like, you you just going up there to just repeat stuff. You just repeated stuff. You, like... It, it, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to, 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 to rag on Ms. Bradford. But that, that was just, uh, you know, a situation there. I'm sure she's an intelligent person and a, and a nice young lady, of course. You know, uh, and, and I wish her the best in the rest of her life. All right. But anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. I'm out.